what up everybody so um i just want to um get on here and explain about this year man last year was a good year man last year was a good year but this year i think it's gonna blow everything else out of the water i i mean i still don't think that um it, it, it I, I know i say that for like every album i put out but man oh my god like that's really pretty i mean dude there's so much content there's so much music that it's crazy it's kind of it's kind of taking it back a bit and it's kind of like going to angels with wings route you know it except it's softer it's more calmer and it's more peaceful and overall it's just happy that's all it is you know because like i've like i've said before um that fly away was uh was a bad time for me um you know i, I was on i'll just say i was on drugs and paradise i made that the making of coming off of it and then i was trying to find a paradise you know trying to be happy and shit and then i eventually with angels with wings it is about papa and that was the first album where i had a clear mindset and it was clear to me on what I wanted to do, how I wanted my music to sound, and which direction I wanted to take your medicine. Because man, there it probably it probably wouldn't even be a thing anymore, honestly. And for a while, it wasn't going to be. It, it wasn't going to be. But genuinely, I didn't want to make a new channel. Um, so I put on Angels with Wings. And that was the first album where I had a clear mindset and I knew what I wanted to do. And then that year was amazing. It was just the start of it. And then you got the abyss. And I knew what I wanted to do with that straight off of Angels with Wings. And, you know, kind of get political with it. And, you know, kind of talk about shit that nobody's really talking about. So, I did that. Put out The Abyss. Number one best album yet that I've put out. I I still think that it's Angels With Wings. Um, because of how personal it is. But, I will say, and I love you, Papa... This album that's coming out is my number one favorite Your Medicine album. Um, because of how personal it is. Angels with Wings is about Papa. This upcoming album is about life. It is everything that happened growing up. And my phone just fell, so I hope you guys enjoy <laughs> looking at the the fucking sky. Um, but it is it is about life. But I don't want to jump ahead. I already kind of jumped ahead, but I don't want to jump ahead. And then after the abyss, Hourglass came out, and that was kind of you know it was the fifth album. And it was, it wasn't, it, it was kind of like an hourglass. You know, time was, time was trickling down. And it's also kind of an homage to 
everything that made me and you know made my fan base and everything that shaped me into who I am today you know it it really did it really did change me and so I was like you know what I, I kind of want to say thank you and it also goes through you know somebody being at their lowest point and then just overcoming that shit, man. And, and that's what it is. It's to build you up. It's supposed to make you feel good. You know, you're conquering your demons. And I, I, I wanted to, with this upcoming album, which is going to be my sixth album, um, I wanted to kind of take a, take a seat back because... The first album was dark as all hell. The second one was just a shit show. The third one was more emotional. The fourth one was political. The fifth one is, you know, somebody being their new selves, you know, becoming a better person. And I just wanted to take a seat back and I was like, let me get... You guys heard my stomach? Jesus Christ. Let me get personal. You know, and, and I've gotten personal with Angels with Wings, but this is definitely more, more personal, more touching. You know, it's more me. Stuff that I don't really talk about. And man, I cannot wait to talk about it. Because there are specifically... Three tracks that bring me back to one day. You know, I, I'm going to talk about that day, but I'm not going to say the track names yet. But there's three tracks, and those three tracks tie in to one day. I remember it very vivid, vivid very vivid, like it was yesterday. So, it's Easter. It's Easter Day. Uh, we're still living at Munga and Papa's and um, it's Easter I'm upstairs I'm playing Need for Speed well I wake up play Need for Speed um, and then uh, Bear comes over and <laughs> and he wants to watch me play Need for Speed so while he's upstairs my mom, Papa, and Kerr are outside, and they're hiding Easter eggs for us. And they call us down, and we, I mean, we, we fucking found those eggs, man. I, I don't know if they were really trying, but if they did try, man, we were, we were on that shit. And I remember me and Bear, we were just sitting outside, and we were listening to music and, and you know we were playing you know i mean he was still a kid you know you know he was still a kid so you know he didn't really play play but you know i was swinging i was listening to music he would sit next to me and swing and listen to the music and then you know we'd ride bikes and then later in the day my cousins came over my aunt came over my uncle came over and it was just a good day. The adults were, you know, talking to the adults. And us kids, man, we were just, we were playing. We were riding bikes. We were playing cops and robbers. We were playing The Walking Dead. We were playing zombies. We were, we were doing everything. We were swinging and listening to music. And then we did another uh, Easter egg hunt. And then, um, and then later in the day, we all moved out because everybody was sitting on the patio the adults were sitting on the patio and we all moved out to the driveway and everybody gathered around because we were playing pie in the face and man that was so fun man uh it, it was great man except we didn't have whipped cream uh we had shaving cream and man, when I tell you, me and Mads, we got covered 
and shaving cream, man. We were literally from head to toe. I don't know how it happened, but oh, we all got into a we we all got into a uh, um a shaving cream fight. It got on our face and it just slowly became we were spraying it on our hands, we were wiping it on each other. And another reason why I remember this day is because it was the first time me and Mads rode around the block on our bikes. I've never done that before. I the most I did was go down the street and back. And even that was pushing it. I I had to stay around the house, but I remember we rode our bikes around the block covered in shaving cream, man. And I remember that there was these cars passing by and they were giving us these looks. I'm like, yeah, we're covered in shaving cream. And me and me and Mads were just laughing our ass off. And then we got back up. We got cleaned off. And man, it was just a good fucking day. And then everybody left. There was no it, there was no fighting. There was no arguing. There was no petty, stupid drama. It was just a fun, great day, man. And everybody left, and I'm sitting on this picnic bench, and my mom brings out my Easter egg basket. And she's like, here you go. And I remember that there were these little Call of Duty Legos. It was literally just a guy with armor, and a ray gun mark ii and i remember sitting at that picnic table and i was just thinking about like what just happened while i was putting together my legos and man everybody was laughing you know as i know not everybody in the family is on great terms and not everybody you know agrees with everybody and not everybody's like you know all happy and shit but man if man if i could go back oh man if i could go back i totally would i drop everything papa's still alive everybody's getting along everybody's just happy or or maybe i was just a kid and i didn't see what was unfolding behind the scenes and, and oblivious to everything, but even being oblivious and not knowing, I'd still do it again. You know, it it's, it's, it's fun because, man, I miss being a kid. I miss the good parts of being a kid. Not so when we moved out, but everything until we moved out sucked ass. <laughs> but everything before, it was amazing. I, re I really did love it. I felt like, I felt like everything was normal then. You know, and... You know, when I talk to my shit, you know, I've said a lot of shit more than what most people do. But man, I miss those days, man. I miss, I miss, you know, joking and, you know, laughing, you know, and, you know, shit that I said. That, that there's a couple people where I still feel how I feel. I still feel the same about Billy, fuck him, and Daryl, fuck him too, you know, but everything else, man, it's just what was, it really was, now, I'm happy I have those memories though, even though I don't like them all, well, Billy and Daryl. I'd still go back. Uh, that's what this album's about. It's life. It's stuff that you don't usually hear from me. You hear from most people, you know. And 
there's a lot of memories here. It's very sentimental and it really means a lot to me. And I'd be okay if if this was the last year medicine album. I, I'd be all right with it. I, I love it. This is going to be my favorite album of all time. Like, like the number one best out. Like, it, it's 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 overranking Eminem. <laughs> it's overranking Hollywood Undead. Like that's how serious. It, like it's overranking Hollywood Undead. So you know, you know it's good. Um. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know what? If I have to rank my albums, this album, Angels with Wings, The Abyss, Hourglass, Fly Away in Paradise. Yep. Uh, that would be the order. Um... Like I said, man, there's so much content this year. There's there's going to be so many singles. It's going to be so many tracks. And it's just started, man. Um, no um, singles right now. <clears throat> there will be singles um, next month. Oh, no, wait, I just, I just want to do that. There's a little uh, balloon right there. Oh, no. Focus. 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 There's a balloon right there. Um, there's not going to be any singles till um, next month. Uh, I'm going to... So, the Ordinary World album is coming out March 5th. So, I'll say the first single for Your Medicine will come out March 20th. So, look out for that, man. And, the, and these singles are absolutely fucking beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I love you guys, though. Thank you, you guys, for taking the time out of your day to listen to me talk. Hey, man, 2024 is going to be a good year. I just got a feeling. I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Good.